What's the answer to this? Is it one or 16? That's simply not true, and you know it. Let the debate begin. All right, a good debate needs rules. So before we declare a winner for that problem, let's learn the official rulebook for math with a simpler example. Let's say you have three plus two times negative five. To simplify this, let's start with the addition operation first. So we'll add the three and two to get five. Then we will do the multiplication operation. So five times negative five is negative 25. Now this looks like you did all things the right way, but this answer is wrong. So let's find out what would happen if we had performed the multiplication operation first. We'll multiply the two and the negative five first. This will give us negative 10. Then we will perform the addition operation second. So three plus negative 10 is negative seven. Here, the correct answer is negative seven. Notice that in both cases, we performed the operations in different orders, and we ended up with two different answers. This shows us something very important. In math, you cannot just solve problems in any random order. There is a correct order of operations that we must always follow. So to make sure students don't perform operations in different orders and get different answers, mathematics gives us a specific rule called the order of operations. This order of operations can be represented by the acronym PEMDAS. PEMDAS stands for parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. The order of operations, represented by the letters in PEMDAS, tells you what to calculate first, second, and so on. However, note that multiplication and division are considered to be the same level, so they are worked from left to right. Similarly, addition and subtraction are also on the same level. So they are worked from left to right. Now, from PEMDAS, multiplication comes before addition. So, when you simplify an expression with addition and multiplication operations, you must deal with the multiplication first before dealing with the addition next, irrespective of how your expression is written. That's why in our example, when we worked on the addition first, we got the wrong answer, but when we worked on the multiplication first, we got the right answer. PEMDAS is a valuable tool that guides us when we simplify expressions. Okay, the official rulebook, PEMDAS, is now yours. So let's go back to that tricky problem from the beginning and solve it together, once and for all. Here is our problem. To simplify it, let's bring the order of operations. From the order of operations, we have to perform the operation in the parenthesis first. This means we will add the two to the two. This will give us four. So now, our expression simplifies to look like this. We know whenever we see a number right up against a parenthesis like this, it always means multiplication. So, to make it perfectly clear, what we're really looking at is eight divided by two times four. From the order of operations, the next operation we have to perform is exponents, but we do not have any exponents, so we move on to the next operation, which is multiplication and division from left to right. This is where most of the debate happens. PEMDAS makes students think that they have to always multiply before dividing. So they perform the two times four first to get eight. Then they divide eight by eight to get one. This is a wrong answer. The correct way, working from left to right is eight divided by two, which is four. Then we multiply four times four to get 16. And just like that, 16 stands crowned by the unshakable laws of PEMDAS. Let's look at a more complex one and learn a few more things before we dive into algebra. Let's evaluate this. Let's bring our order of operations. From the order of operations, the first operation we have to perform is parentheses. Here, however, we see what is called nested parentheses. That is parentheses within parentheses. In this case, we will perform the operation in the innermost parentheses first we have eight minus six. This is two. So our expression is now this. Since we still have parentheses, our next operation is still parentheses. We know that we have to perform the operations in the parentheses. However, here, 
we have multiple operations in the parenthesis. We have addition and exponent. When you have multiple operation in parenthesis, then you have to apply a separate order of operation to simplify it. Taking just what is in the parenthesis and applying PEMDAS, we know we have to perform the exponent operation before the addition. We have two cubed. This is two times two times two, which is eight. Now we perform the addition operation. We add four plus eight. This simplifies everything we have in the parenthesis to 12. We now have 15 plus 12 times two divided by four. From our original PEMDAS, we can see that our next operation will be multiplication and division from left to right. From left to right, we will multiply the 12 and two to get 24. Then we will divide the 24 by four. This will give us six. We now have 15 plus six. Finally, using PEMDAS, we will perform the addition and subtraction from left to right. We add 15 plus six. This gives us 21 as our final answer. Now it's time to dial it up and unleash PEMDAS in simplifying algebraic expressions. Let's simplify the expression, two parentheses, x plus five plus three x. To simplify this expression into its simplest form, we'll use PEMDAS. Now, according to PEMDAS, the parenthesis comes first. This means that we must deal with everything inside the parentheses first before doing anything else. We must add the x and the five. In algebra, we can only add like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variables raised to the same powers. Since we have x here and no x here, they are not like terms, so we cannot combine them by addition. So, since nothing can be simplified inside the parentheses, we leave them as they are. Now we'll move on to the next operation in PEMDAS. Even though exponents come second in PEMDAS, there are no exponents in the expression. So we'll skip over it and move on to the multiplication and division from left to right. Next from the expression, the two here is multiplying the parentheses, so there is multiplication. Note that anytime you see a number beside a parenthesis, that number is multiplying everything inside the parentheses. So, according to PEMDAS, the multiplication is the second operation we must work on. We'll distribute the two among the terms in the parentheses. In arithmetic, we didn't need the distribution because terms inside parentheses could always be simplified to a single number. In algebra, distribution becomes the essential tool you must use when the terms inside the parentheses, like x plus five, cannot be combined. The two will multiply the x to give two x plus the two will multiply the five to give 10. So we have two x plus 10 plus three x. Next, from PEMDAS, addition comes third. Since two x and three x are like terms, we can add them together. They both have the variable x and the x has the same exponent. Two x plus three x is five x. Therefore, the simplified version of the expression is five x plus 10. Now you can see that the right answer comes from PEMDAS and algebra rules like distribution and combining like terms. If you're ready to master that mix and make all of algebra easy, check out our complete algebra course at ultimatealgebra.com. Let's do another example. Let's say we have 2x squared minus 5, parentheses, 3x squared plus x squared plus 4. Again, to solve this question, we'll use PEMDAS. Now, according to PEMDAS, the parentheses comes first. So we must simplify the 3x squared plus x squared first before anything else. This time, both 3x squared and 1x squared are like terms, so we can add them together to get 4x squared. Notice that they both have the variable x and the x have the exponent too. So we have 2x squared minus 5 times 4x squared plus 4. Next, from the order of operations, we will perform the exponents. Although we see exponents, we cannot actually perform the exponents operation on them. 
This is because they are already in their simplest form. In algebra, when dealing with exponents on single variables, like x squared or y exponent 5, it is already in its simplest form, so you cannot perform an exponent operation. We leave the value as is. If you have values like 9 squared, or in parenthesis, 3x squared all cubed, or x plus 5 all squared, those are the values you can perform exponent operations on. We move to our next operation. That is multiplication and division from left to right. So, we can multiply the negative 5 by the 4x squared to get negative 20x squared. This gives us 2x squared minus 20x squared plus 4. Next, addition or subtraction comes in third. So, since the 2x squared and the minus 20x squared are like terms, we can work on them. 2x squared minus 20x squared gives us negative 18x squared. So, we have negative 18x squared plus 4. Since the negative 18x squared and the 4 are not like terms, this is our final answer. Don't forget to get the full course with over 300 videos covering every topic in pre-algebra, algebra 1, and algebra 2, and pass your test with ease.